Hey, I got a question for you. How much do you need for a down payment? Do you still need 20%? Or is that a grandparents thing? I don't know. We're covering that right now. Listen. Hey guys, welcome back. My name is John Miller. I am a realtor here at Keller Williams Louisville East here in Louisville, Kentucky, and I wanna thank you for tuning in to Mondays with Miller as we try something different today. Today, we're gonna to try a new series called Cup of Joe with John. It is a series that we are going to roll out where we interview and talk to professionals in the, in the real estate industry as well as neighborhood restaurant owners and businesses that pop up throughout our city. So today is going to be the first iteration of this, so please bear with us if we have some learning curves to get through as we drive around town. But as I promised you last week here on Mondays with Miller, we are covering our seven part series to the home buying process. And this week is step two, and it is selecting a mortgage lender and getting pre-approved. So what we are about to do right now is I am driving to pick up one of our preferred lenders, a gentleman by the name of Daniel Reddick with Republic Bank. He's gonna pop in this seat right here. We're gonna drive around town and drink a cup of Joe and learn about mortgage lending, as well as the steps you need to keep an eye out for as you prepare for home ownership. I'm magic, guys. I made, him, I made him appear. What can I say? I'm that good. Anyhow, like I told you, we're gonna talk about step two of the seven part series of the home buying process, being how to find a mortgage lender and the steps to pay attention to for your pre-approval. So how you doing, Danny? Living the dream. <laughs> you, know, you said you've been in the business 10 years. Um, tell me something about you, though. Like, what, what about you? Well, uh, I started in this business in Colorado. Um, went out there, uh, lived out there for quite a while, but uh, uh, eventually found my way into the mortgage business, um, and uh, uh, it's been it's been a fun ride. I've uh, been in Louisville, Kentucky, now for about seven years. Well, it's uh, it's I think it's important to know their experience. Uh, you know, the, the mortgage is, is a pretty complicated process. Lots and lots of different programs out there. Uh, all of them are very different and uh, meet different needs. So uh, ask your lender how long you've been in the business. Make sure they didn't just get licensed a month ago. Um, so I think experience matters is one. Yeah, well, first off, you know, I definitely recommend everyone getting started right away. Whether your uh, goal is to buy a home tomorrow or a year from now, um, I wish all of my clients get, came uh, to me a year in advance. Um, that way I could really spend the time developing a roadmap to success. Uh, so that way they, they know what to expect, uh, they know what kind of programs they're going to be getting into, um, they can start working on whether that maybe that might involve working on building that credit up. Uh, because in most cases, the higher the credit score, the, bet, the lower the interest rate, or uh, higher the credit uh, might mean better loan programs for you. So, yeah, actually, um, you know, you'd be surprised how many people actually put 20% down. It's actually not quite the common practice on these days. Um, sure, there are benefits to it, and if the after looking at the finances, that makes sense, absolutely. Uh, but um, no, that is that is uh, far from the norm anymore. Personally, with rates being as low as they are, I'd like to see you put a little bit of money down, so we build a little, get a little head start on that equity, keeping a good portion in your savings, making sure that you have a good pattern because you know, buying a home, unexpected expenses come up, um, and then. Uh, you know, with rates being as low as they are, you know, start building that equity right away, rather than waiting a year or two to try and build up 20%. I'd rather see you start building that equity right away. 
Yeah, so I try to be as flexible as possible. In this age of technology, um, it's fantastic. We want to work around people's busy schedules. So if that means that we got to talk on the phone, uh, that means that we work via email and uh, through via the website, no problem. But personally, uh, I prefer to meet face to face. I think you can. Here's the thing: is that the last thing I want on the, the largest purchase, the potential largest investment that you ever make, there to be buyers for. So I personally like to sit down, put the computer screens up, maybe print out some paper and open programs, and go over your options. Just for me personally, I want as many questions as possible. The more questions you ask me throughout the process, at the beginning of the process, the less likelihood of there being any buyers in course later. I want you to be a confident buyer uh, when, when the time comes to shop. I think response time is very important. You know, uh, we want to earn your business. I always want to earn your business. Uh, if it takes a day to respond to you, um, then maybe they're not the right fit for you. So, you know, response time I think is very important because when the time comes and, and, and you need to submit an offer, um, you can't be waiting around for a day uh, with this hot market for a response from your lender. So response time I think is very important. This, this, this market but you know ask for references you know if, if, if uh, you ask a lender for references and whether it, it be other a realtor or uh, past clients if they can't give you any yeah, that's a huge red flag so uh, don't, don't feel bad about asking for references I 100% agree I think I think professionalism response times and, and having a lender that is open to give you people to talk to tells you that they're confident in so before we tie this video down, any last parting words for our beautiful viewers out there that are thinking about getting a home ownership? Uh, you know what? I just say, you know, talk to somebody right away. Get with your agent, get with your lender, get out there and, and, and just take the first steps. Uh, if it's your first time home, fine. Just get out there and gather information. Gather as much information as you can. The more information you have, the better decision to make more of a confident buyer to become. Easy enough, folks. Well, hey, listen, I want to thank you guys for joining us here on Mondays with Miller on our second step to the home buying process of finding a mortgage lender and steps to, to be mindful of as you get ready to get prepared um, for home ownership. We covered things like um, trustworthiness, integrity. We talked about a lot about um, finding somebody that is maybe referral-based and the benefits of why we're looking for those kind of folks as well as some of the red flags to be mindful of as you go about interviewing folks. We hope that we also gave you a little nugget or two about some of the things that you need to take steps on uh, to get prepared uh, for that pre-approval so that you are ready to go when that lease is up versus asking to be ready to go when it's already done. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if this is your first time watching this video and you loved it so much, make sure you hit the subscribe button and that bell so you'll be notified every Monday when we drop videos. Don't forget to give us a like. Drop us some comments. Daniel's going to see this video. He'll definitely, if it's a lending question, pipe it up. I'll let him know you have it. He'll come in and, and he'll answer your questions. So do not be afraid to hit us up some comments um, about the lending side of things because we would love to talk to you about that. But guys, again, I enjoy it. I appreciate your attendance uh, watching this video. I hope you liked it as much as we, we uh, enjoyed filming it. But until then, I'll see you on Monday. It's really important to me that, that my clients are in programs that they're comfortable with and um, that they'll remember me when, when the time comes to make a, uh, make a financial decision on that moment. I would say trust and somebody with good hair i mean i don't know if you're noticing but uh, hey beards and hair yeah we rocking it mm -hmm. um anyhow oh geez yeah we took a long you time you told me 15 minutes <laughs> <laughs>